Tigers are the largest members of the cat family and are instantly recognizable thanks to their striking orange and black stripes. These apex predators are capable of taking down prey of all sizes, from rodents to elephant calves. Fiery and imposing, aggressive and powerful, tigers have aroused fascination in humans through millennia, but they have also experienced threats in their natural environment as a result of human activities. The tigers have anatomy with over 600 muscles and a strong bone structure that makes them apex predators in their natural habitat. They evolved from their ancestors for almost 2 million years, continuously adapting to their environment. All tigers are native to Asia and belong to a single species Panthera tigris, which has six subspecies. Siberian tiger, Bengal tiger, Malayan tiger, Indo-Chinese tiger, South China tiger, and Sumatran tiger. Body size and morphology vary considerably among subspecies of tigers. Siberian tigers, also known as Amur tigers, are the largest. Male Siberian tigers can grow to 3.7 meters or 12.1 feet and weigh over 423 kilograms or 932 pounds. Male Indochinese tigers, though smaller than Siberian tigers in body size at 2.8 meters or 9.2 feet in length and 195 kilograms or 430 pounds, have the longest skull of all tiger subspecies. Sumatran tigers are the smallest living subspecies. Male Sumatran tigers measure 2.3 meters or 7.5 feet and weigh 136 kilograms or 300 pounds. Tigers have short, thick necks, broad shoulders, and massive forelimbs, ideal for grappling with prey while holding on with long retractable claws and broad forepaws. A tiger's tongue is covered with hard papillae to scrape the flesh off the bones of prey. Tigers are carnivores and can capture and eat large mammals. Deer, antelope, buffalo, and wild boar are some of the prey of tigers. They also eat monkeys, sloth bears, and leopards. Tigers have even been known to eat crocodiles. Tigers use one of two tactics when they get close enough to kill. Small animals, weighing less than half the body weight of the tiger, are killed by a bite to the back of the neck. The canines are inserted between the neck vertebrae, forcing them apart and breaking the spinal cord. For larger animals, a bite to the throat is used to crush the animal's trachea and suffocate it. The throat bite is the safer killing tactic because it minimizes any physical assault the tiger may receive while trying to kill its prey. After the prey is taken to cover, tigers feed first on the buttocks using the carnassials to rip open the carcass. As the tiger progresses, it opens the body cavity and removes the stomach. Not all of the prey is eaten. Some parts are rejected. Prey are usually dragged to cover and can be left there and revisited over several days. Although tigers are extremely efficient hunters, they don't always make the kill as you would expect them to. When they can sneak up on the prey, they only have a few seconds to pounce and kill them by biting them in the neck area. Tigers are solitary. The only long-term relationship is between a mother and her offspring. They are most active at night when their wild ungulate prey are most active, although they can be active at any time of the day. Tigers prefer to hunt in dense vegetation and along routes where they can move quietly. In snow, they select routes on frozen riverbeds, in paths made by ungulates, or anywhere else that has a reduced snow depth. Tigers have tremendous leaping ability. Being able to leap from 8 to 10 meters, leaps of half that distance are more typical. They are excellent swimmers and water doesn't usually act as a barrier to their movement. Tigers are also excellent climbers, using their retractable claws and powerful legs. The IUCN categorizes tigers as endangered and lists illegal poaching as the main threat to the species. Tigers are poached so their body parts and fur can be sold as part of the illegal wildlife trade. Tiger bones are used in traditional Asian medicines, and similar markets seek tiger skin, teeth, and other parts. In addition to the threat of poaching, tiger habitat is being converted into agriculture or human settlements and commercially logged. Tiger attacks on humans and livestock also bring the cat into conflict with people who kill them in retaliation.
As everybody knows, tigers are extremely strong animals and have amazing qualities. But can they cope in the Amazon rainforest? First, we need to better understand if tigers would adapt to the Amazon rainforest. There are key elements that differentiate Amazon from the other environments where tigers once roamed. Often called the lungs of the earth, the Amazon rainforest spans nine countries, but about 60% lies in Brazil. Tropical rainforests are home to the largest and the smallest, the loudest and the quietest of all land animals, as well as some of the most dangerous, most beautiful, most endearing, and strangest looking animals on earth. The Amazon is home to more species of plants and animals than any other terrestrial ecosystem on the planet. Perhaps 30% of the world's species are found there. Its biodiversity is astounding. A single bush in the Amazon may have more species of ants than the entire British Isles, while a single hectare of forest may have more than 500 species of trees, and a single park can have more than 1,400 butterfly species. Competition for survival is fierce. This may explain why over millions of years of evolution so many highly adapted species have evolved in this biome. Tigers like floodplains, grasslands, and forests ranging from temperate to tropical, but they will often stay in forests classified as moist or dry, not rainforests. Many of the tiger reserves with the highest density and best management status, such as Bandofgar and Corbett have large expanses of moist, dense deciduous forests, as well as streams and grasslands. These areas are not rainy enough to be considered rainforests. Many tiger reserves in India are found in upland regions, like the Western Ghats. The habitats in which tigers are found are quite varied, but they are primarily moist or dry forests. However, there are sections of both the Western Ghats and the Sundarbans that may be classified as rainforests, and it would surprise me if tiger habitats did not intersect with these areas. South America, except the Andes Llamas, does not have large herds of herbivores to hunt. Like Asia, llamas are close relatives to camels. Not too far in history, both camels and tigers were widespread in Asia, and camels were common prey for both tigers and Asiatic lions. The situation in the Amazon rainforest is even worse. There are simply no herds, except for wild pigs, and the herbivores there adapted to smaller sizes compared to other regions. Even the jaguar there is smaller than it bothers from Pantanal. Deers in the Amazon do not live in herds and are mostly the size of goats. Even the canids there are smaller and live in smaller groups than their counterparts in the world. Due to this scenario, the jaguar, the apex predator there, lives on a great variety of animals, from the large tapirs to small everything. Having a menu with more than 100 different prey species, they even fish and prey on alligators, not to mention they break giant river turtle shells in one bite, as they are very well adapted. It would not be an easy life for tigers. All larger cats disappeared from South America together with extinct megafauna for a reason. Jaguar size is the best force and size combo nature came with. Siberian and most Bengal tigers would find Amazon to be too dense and too wet for their liking. But tigers are highly adaptive animals. For example, Sundurban tigers would probably do just fine in the Amazon. They live in the mangroves, which are crisscrossed by so many rivers, smaller in size, and are used to live on smaller prey. They are still Bengal tigers genetically, but are quite different in nature and physique from the tigers of the rest of the subcontinent. However, introducing subdurban tigers in the Amazon would be destructive for the jaguars as the tigers would directly compete with them for food and territory. Though these tigers are somewhat smaller than others, they are still significantly bigger than jaguars. They are also more aggressive than tigers from any other region. Now that you've heard our opinion, we want to know yours. What do you think would happen if tigers were relocated to the Amazon rainforest? We're waiting for your answers in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.